Tonight, the Broward School Board is considering a new incentive to lure new teachers. This has everything to do with family. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is live in Fort Lauderdale to explain. Hatzel. Yeah, ladies, it's an idea that's getting traction because it revolves around child care and tuition assistance for teachers here in Broward Schools. We're going to be inclusive. inclusive. Amid nationwide teacher shortages and as a way to remain competitive, Broward Schools is considering expanding their child care programs. If we can offer something unique uh, and keep our employees and maybe recruit uh, employees from, from everywhere, uh, we're going to look at it. Currently, the district does offer limited child care programs at some schools. Under the plan, these offers would expand and focus on teachers with need. We'd love to see uh, our folks being able to have their children in our schools or being able to help assist with child care payments somehow, some way. In October of last year, the board asked the superintendent to, one, bring a plan for expanding child care options for employees, especially for those with children under the age of three. Two, the board also wanted to see if there was a correlation between teachers leaving the district the first seven years of their professional life and their child care needs. And three, they want a plan addressing tuition assistance for all employee groups for continuing education. Some school board members seem to be on board with the idea. I just think a lot about how in this country we put a lot of pressure on people to um, you know, grow their family or have families, but then we don't do a whole lot to support them once that baby is born. And um, child care is definitely a piece of that. I'm incredibly bullish on the tuition assistance options. Uh, that is something we can pay for. Uh, it's an incredible attraction uh, to people. All right, so no final decision yet, but we should tell you that here's what happens next. They're going to be sending out surveys to try to gauge what kind of need and interest there is. Of course, we'll keep you posted and let you know what happens. Certainly, a lot of folks are interested to see how this turns out. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsopala, Local 10 News.